Alright, hey guys, welcome to a tutorial on how to overclock your graphics card for MSI Afterburner. And I currently have an AMD graphics card. This uh, will program will display your graphics card differently across multiple different uh, platforms and graphics cards and stuff. So for NVIDIA graphics card, you can adjust your shader clock and uh, a couple other things as well. AMD, and it depends on the model of your graphics card as well. I believe this supports graphics cards all the way down a couple years back. Might be until like 2009, 2008 graphics cards like the um, HD Radeon 3000 and up and GTX whatever and up. I don't know. Um, so MSI Afterburner is a great overclocking program. It's nice and simple. It looks clean. It's very very light on your system. This only takes up a couple thousand or a couple millibytes or megabytes of uh, RAM, and it doesn't really take up any CPU. You got a bunch of useful statistics. Sorry, statistics here, and also um, a bunch of graphs, GPU usage, temperature, stuff like that. So to overclock your graphics card, um, there should be uh, voltage and a power limit. Make sure you put that up so your card can get some more juice. And start increasing your core clock by just a little bit. Um, just remember that this affects uh, everybody's system differently, your model of the graphics card and such. Uh, everybody's temperatures, you should be aware of that. And also, uh, if your power supply can also handle this. With the risk of overclocking, you know, there's a lot of risks that come with it. It also affects the lifespan of uh, your graphics card. Um, overall, overclocking your graphics card only squeezes a couple more FPS. Um, but if you really want that, so basically just put your core clock up. Uh, I would do it maybe uh, 10 or 15 megahertz at a time. Um, you can also look at your card's manufacturer and you can see a recommended boost clock and then you can put it up to there and then also you can overclock your memory. So your core clock is basically like your chip's clock, uh, you know, the chip for the graphics card. It's not like the big huge uh, silicon chip itself, it's actually the core of the graphics card. So that's where all the stream processes are and stuff. And then your memory clock, that's basically like, um, so you know how graphics cards they have memory. Uh, so, for instance, my card has 2 gigabytes of VRAM at GDDR5, um, so that will overclock that memory. Um, usually I find core clock to increase FPS more, but you can also do memory if you want to. Uh, sometimes memory is a little bit more unstable than core clock. Um, so you can do that, and then you got a bunch of settings here you can screw around with and do a couple other things too. Alright, so uh, hopefully this guy, or uh, this, hopefully this tutorial helped you out. Thanks for watching. Uh, make it nice and quick for you guys. And uh, I just found out that my, it, this uh, program supports uh, my Logitech G510S for the onboard display. So I have like CPU and GPU temps on there and usages. Uh, don't forget to like the video. Also subscribe to my channel and leave a comment if you like. See you guys later and enjoy.